This is 10 Eyewitness News with Sandra Sully and Hugh Rimmington. Good evening. Sydney's most infamous crooked cop, Roger Rogerson, is in custody tonight, accused of murder after a two-day police hunt that ended at his suburban home in Padstow Heights this morning. Well, now in his 70s and claiming he's barely able to walk, Rogerson was furious as his one-time detective mates executed the raid. Well, Kimberly Sokov was there for the arrest and Andrew Denny is at Bankstown Court tonight where Rogerson has just appeared. Kimberly, to you first. And there were genuine fears today that this was going to turn into an O.J. Simpson-style circus. Yes, certainly, Sandra. Rogerson's lawyers were afraid of that. And to be honest with you, it didn't fall too far short of it. There were spectacular scenes out here today. Police knew, even we knew, that Rogerson was going to hand himself in within the hour. But it seems that detectives weren't willing to wait and they wanted to show Rogerson that he was no longer the top cop. Australia's best-known crooked cop under arrest. Mr Rogerson, did you murder Jamie Gall? In his heyday, Rogerson hauled some of the state's worst criminals behind bars. Once again, though, the shoe was on the other foot. And he appeared almost bemused. Were you involved with this murder? All right. I'm 73 years of age. Will you be defending the charges, Roger Rogerson? On the advice of my lawyer, I'm saying nothing at this point. His lawyer, also a former police officer, was fuming. More than a dozen officers swooped on Rogerson's house, but his lawyer says a deal had already been done with police. He would go to them to avoid a public O.J. Simpson-style arrest. The New South Wales police should hang their head in shame today. I've never seen conduct like that, ever. Rogerson was brought here to Bankstown Police Station for questioning. He'd planned to hand himself in at police headquarters, but detectives were never going to let him dictate the terms of his own arrest. On Sunday night, police seized Rogerson's Silver Ford Falcon they believe it's this one, captured in video of the last time Jamie Gow was seen alive. Two senior detectives who'd flown to Queensland to find Rogerson returned today. They're officers from the same squad Rogerson once ruled. He was so notorious as a top cop turned dirty, his career was the subject of a teleseries. <laughs> You serious, mate? You can bank on it, sunshine. Rogerson was working on a book about police corruption with former detective Glenn McNamara. He's also accused of Gal's murder. Police will allege they have video of the pair emerging from a storage unit with a body. Rogerson recently joked about getting caught. Unfortunately, I mean, the media have cameras everywhere, this CCDV footage. In my day, we never had those problems. But what the videos don't show us is how this drug deal turned deadly. Rogerson was only charged late this afternoon after about four hours of questioning and when police made that announcement they also confirmed that the body that was found off Cronulla Beach yesterday morning wrapped in a tarpaulin is in fact the remains of Jamie Gow, the university student who will now forever be remembered as the boy who got in over his head. OK, Kimberly, thank you. Well, Roger Rogerson has just appeared in court. Andrew Denny is there. Andrew, what happened? Well, Hugh, Roger Rogerson did just appear here about half an hour ago at Bankstown Local Court where he was formally charged with murder as well as supplying a large commercial quantity of drugs. The 73-year-old appeared extremely frail. In fact, he limped from the paddy wagon that he was into the courtroom where he had only his lawyer there for his support. He's entered no pleas to either of the charges against him. And interestingly, after many denials of any involvement in these uh, alleged crimes before, his lawyer made uh, no, no protest of his innocence outside court here just a few moments ago. This is just a little of what he had to say. Well, well, we'll see when we get the brief of evidence. Will he be defending them? Well, we'll just see when we get the brief of evidence. So he's not denying them at this stage? Well, I'm not making any comment in relation to anything at the moment until we get the brief of evidence. So, Andrew Denny, where right now is Roger Rod Rogerson? Where will he be spending the night? Well, for the moment, he'll be taken to a remand centre at Silverwater, but from then on, uh, his future is a little bit unclear. Uh, there were mentions in court today of the notion of protective custody as well as the need for a lot of medication in jail. After all, he is 
quite an elderly man. Uh, the case has been adjourned to the 22nd of July, the same day as his co-accused. OK, Andrew Denny, thank you.